You know, having been up to the Senator factory in Napier and, and seeing how the guys actually make a boat, that was a fantastic experience. But I feel like having a boat built and then understanding all the safety aspects around actually driving a boat, understanding the rules of the sea, that's something I'm a little bit nervous about. So I've actually enrolled in a Coast Guard day skippers course down here at the Mana Cruising Club. And I'm turning up this morning. I am, I am still a little bit nervous because, you know, I'm such a newbie at this, but I figure if I want to gain the experience, and I'll, especially if I want to get the confidence of driving a boat, I mean, it's just the small things like when you turn up at a marina, what do you do? And when you're going down the channel, what lights do you follow? You know, what's port, what's starboard? So there's an awful lot of questions that I've got around the safety of driving a boat. And hopefully today, I'm gonna to learn a few things that are gonna help me on my journey. I've got one of these, but it's a, um, a Hutch Wilco, and this one's a little bit different. It's actually, it's actually got a, a crotch strap as well, so, ah, oh, that's pretty easy. And I think, uh, <laughs> it's a bit tight. <laughs> what the crotch strap actually does is, you know, when you hit the water and, and you pull the pin on this, it stops it from shooting up, and sometimes people don't have it tight enough, and. Uh, Next thing you know, life jacket gets away on them and they're still going down and life jacket's going up. So that's, that's a pretty good idea to have a crotch strap. Thanks a lot for today, it was awesome. You know, there were a lot of things that you covered that um, for me, you know, they were, they were a mystery. And especially, you know, the, the whole thing about the collision rules and that, because that's, that, you know, had me worried to tell you the truth. And then also just navigating in and out of the, um, the harbours, you know, just how to, choose which was started which was port so it's it's been fantastic you know I'm, I've got a block in the sounds and you know I'm having a boat built hopefully you know I haven't chosen which one but at the moment I'm kind of swinging towards getting a, a senator. Coast Guards have got one I believe they launch it off the beach. So you, you reckon we just call in and say yeah. day and ask yeah. them if well, they'll go, show us it? Yeah go and have a look you know you're interested in buying one so I'm sure they'd be interested in talking to you. I think I'll do that, mate. Yeah. <laughs>
obviously there's a lot of other boat builders out there. Yeah, well there is, Davey. Um, look, we run two boats. We run a boat out of Paraparam, we run a boat out of Waikanae. And, and both boats are beach launched. So um, we have some pretty unique conditions that we're launching into and what we have to overcome. Senator, it fitted our bill. It fitted the bill with the, the solid pontoons. Um, it's a solid, robust boat and works perfectly for our conditions down here. Those guys from the Coast Guard are awesome and they're all community funded, which is why I think it's really important to support them. And they go out in all sorts of conditions and they're the guys that you're going to call on to save your bacon. And there's very few fine weather rescues. And I've actually learned something else today and I've made a bit of a decision because if a senator is good enough for the Coast Guard, I reckon it's probably going to be more than good enough for me. I've got a little bit more research to do and some planning, so watch this space.